Nutridionda e, Wikipedia article audio. Nutridionda e Worldwide is a large scale, worldwide action project designed to reduce disease related malnutrition among hospitalist patients and nursing home residents. The aim of this project is to increase awareness and knowledge regarding disease related malnutrition in hospitalist patients and the elderly. Background Obesity and disease related malnutrition. Disease related malnutrition in hospitals. Nutridionda e Worldwide The Project. Transnational Multilingual Approach. Performance of the Nutridionda e Audit. Nutridionda e Questionnaires. Nutridionda e Oncology. Nutridionda e Objectives. Benefits for Health Facilities Nutridionda e Findings In 1977 poor nutritional status and malnutrition was already detected in surgical patients. Still, disease-related malnutrition is a much underrated public health issue and has also become an enormous economical concern. It is estimated that over 50 million Europeans are at risk. A study performed in the UK in 2005 estimated the cost of malnutrition to the UK to be 10.6 billion euros per year, double the projected 5.1 billion euros cost of obesity. Two population groups are at particularly high risk, hospitalized patients and residents of nursing homes. Disease-related malnutrition can be responsible for prolonged length of hospital stay, morbidity and premature mortality in hospitalized patients. Research has shown that approximately 31% of all hospitalized patients can be considered malnourished or at nutritional risk. Previous Nutridionda e studies have shown that malnutrition is a major health concern which still gets too little attention in hospitals and nursing homes. Malnutrition, as it has been shown in many studies, increases infection rates, affects the patient's wound healing, leads to cardiac complications and also prolongs hospital stay. Generally health care focuses mainly on the increasing incidence of obesity. It used to be the accepted opinion that only patients with low body weight or low body mass index are malnourished. However, studies show that BMI is not always a good parameter to detect malnutrition. Analysis show that a high percentage of body fat reduces the sensitivity of BMI to detect nutritional depletion. Internationally, the issue of disease-related malnutrition was raised in various forums, most clearly in the adoption of a resolution by the Council of Europe. Resolution RESAP 3 on Food and Nutritional Care in Hospitals of the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe emphasizes inter alia the unacceptable number of undernourished people in hospitals and the beneficial effects of adequate food service and nutritional care in hospitals on patients' recovery and quality of life. The resolution identifies a long list of actions to be undertaken to remedy the situation. The project Nutridionda e Worldwide addresses improved patient safety and quality of care by raising awareness and increasing knowledge about disease-related malnutrition. Nutridionda e establishes a worldwide chart in which nutritional status and prevalence of malnutrition is portrayed. Further it documents relevant nutritional infrastructures in hospitals and nursing homes. The aim of the project is to emphasize the importance of adequate clinical nutrition in both settings. In January 2006 the project was conducted for the first time under direction of University Professor Dr. Michael Heismayer with support of the Austrian Society of Clinical Nutrition and the European Society for Clinical Nutrition and Metabolism. A subsequent audit took place in January 2007 when the project was extended to intensive care units and nursing homes. 
Since then, Nutridionda E is performed in all three settings. In 2012 Oncology Nutridionda E was performed as the first disease-specific Nutridionda E. The audit is unit and patient-centered. Information about the actual nutrition care and nutrition monitoring on participating wards is gathered using four questionnaires. This happens on one single day worldwide. The hospital ward as an organizational unit is of particular interest. The ward, with all its specific characteristics and local culture, is the direct center of care for a group of patients within the hospital. The direct interview of patients is a characteristic specific to Nutridionda E project. Patients are surveyed about their eating habits on the day and about the reasons for not eating. Hospital wards and nursing homes from 51 countries have already participated in Nutridionda E. In January 2013, the Nutridionda E database counts more than 132.000 datasets from patients and nursing home residents. The questionnaires are available in over 30 languages. This enables the project to include minority groups of patients. On one specific day in November, the Nutridionda E takes place every year. On this day, Participating hospital wards and nursing homes collect data on the nutritional status of their patients and residents and record supply structures relevant for nutritional care. Thus, participants receive an actual snapshot of their hospital unit or nursing home. After a specified period of time, a follow-up evaluation is performed which gives information on the patient's outcome. After data collection, the hospital staff transfers the data into a database which is accessible over the website http www.nutritionday.org. An individual code guarantees anonymity of participants. Each unit receives feedback about its position compared to all other participating units of the same specialty type. Repeated participation in the audit allows benchmarking design to enhance learning within units and to track changes in local practice and international trends. Based on four to five questionnaires, information of the participating hospital units or nursing home and their patients and residents is collected. Of particular interest are the unit organization and structure, health status, and nutritional care of the patients weight monitoring and food intake. The unit acts as direct care unit of a group of patients with all its specific characteristics, its occupational group, its patient's population and the local culture is from special interest. A characteristic of the project is the direct interrogation of the patient about their nutritional behavior on Nutridionda E and if there were reasons for not eating. Nutritional treatment plays an important role for patients who suffer from cancer. In studies it has been shown that weight-stable cancer patients have a better prognosis than cancer patients with weight loss, in concrete a lower number of treatment-related adverse reactions in weight-stable patients is reported, the response to cancer treatment is increased. The patient reports a higher activity level and a better subjective quality of life. Moreover, the actual survival rate of weight stable patients is higher compared to patients with weight loss. The importance of nutritional treatment of cancer patients was reason to appoint Nutridionda E Oncology the first disease specific focus of the Nutridionda E audit for the years 2012 and 2013. The project Nutridionda e Oncology comprises three additional questionnaires which collect nutritional data of patients who suffer from cancer. Data obtained from Nutridionda e Oncology will be incorporated into the new ASPIN guidelines and thus increase their practical worth.
Overall objective of the Nutridionda E project is to promote safe nutritional care worldwide by increasing knowledge, awareness, and nutrition monitoring and to bring attention to the importance of nutritional care for the patient's recovery. Further Nutridionda E shall raise awareness of the interaction between food intake and recovery. Target groups are healthcare professionals as well as patients, their relatives, and political and economical stakeholders. The Nutridionda E study is conducted to determine the effects of nutritional factors on the outcomes of hospitalized patients and nursing homes. Three papers were published in the years 2009 and 2010 in this concern. An analysis of the data of the Nutridionda E audit 2006 performed by Heismayer ETAL revealed that less than half of all patients in European hospitals included in the audit eat less than provided as regular meal. Further, an association of reduced food intake with an increased risk of mortality in patients after 30 days was found. Reduced food intake can therefore be seen as a risk factor for hospital mortality. In 2009, Valentini ETAL analyzed the data of the Nutridionda E in nursing homes in 2007 and described the effects of ND of first-time participants. Therein outcome results indicated that Nutridionda E participation induces behavioral changes such as awareness in malnutrition. Schindler ETAL conducted a study based on the data of the Nutridionda E audit of the years 2007 and 2008. Core findings of this study on how nutritional risk is assessed and managed in European hospitals indicate that still an inconsistent way of assessing nutritional risk in patients in different units and countries exist and that frequently energy goals of patients are not met. Gathering knowledge about inadequate food intake in the three settings hospitals, nursing homes, and intensive care units in relation to risk factors, medical specialty type, organizational units, and countries, decrease human suffering and reduce community costs, initiate research for eating despite illness and the ideal utilization of clinical nutrition.